Good morning. Hopefully you're adjusted to the time change, unlike me. Welcome to Morning Gospel Fuel with Mr. G. It is Monday, March 9th, the feast day of St. Francis of Rome, the patron saint of motorists and of oblates. And oblates are common folk people who share a religious life without vows to a specific order, which I think is quite interesting. Um, in fact, if any, any of you mothers out there would probably really like, actually anybody who's married, you'd probably really like the reflection on today's saint of the day out of this book. If you're interested, let me know. But St. Francis of Rome, pretty cool cat. Um, anyway, today's gospel is from Luke chapter 6, verses 36 through 38. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Be merciful, just as also your Father is merciful. Stop judging, and you will not be judged. Stop condemning, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and gifts will be given to you. A good measure, packed together, shaken down, and overflowing, will be poured into your lap. For the measure with which you measure will in return be measured out to you. <coughs> ah. All right. Mercy, judgment, good gifts. Uh, there's a great analogy in the Word Among Us this morning about uh, God giving us uh, gifts of good measure. Um, so... Anyway, sorry. The, so the gospel this morning, uh, I, I had to refer from Luke to Matthew using the footnotes because it refer, references different scripture verses. And uh, I, read the, I read the footnotes there, and it said that judging, which I need to get better at. Actually, I need to get better at in good judgment uh, because it states there that um, judging people... Um, even though many of us, all actually, I bet all of us do it, but, um, is that judging? But, um, it says that judge, judgment is not a prohibition against recognizing the faults of others, but against passing judgment in a spirit of arrogance, forgetful of your own faults. So I definitely have fallen into the latter part of that over the course of my life a lot. Um, so judgments, you know, you, you know, you know, don't, you know, don't try to pull the splinter from somebody else's eye unless you pull the, the beam out of your own eye first, you know, so that whole uh, metaphor there. But so we talk about judgment today um, because you can't be concerned with the faults of others if you ignore your own more serious offenses. Um, you know, most times whenever I'm judging, I'm pretty much being a hypocrite because I do the same thing. So that's something that I and I'm sure all of us need to work on. Um, then whenever it comes to uh, giving generously uh, towards that second part of the gospel there in this short three-verse saying, it says if we give generously to others, God will give overflowing generosity back to us. And I think a lot, a lot of times, especially maybe Catholics, I don't know, but whenever people think of giving Generously, they always think of monetary. They think of money, giving money, giving money, um, which isn't a bad thing. But I think the part of the challenge today is is let's give something else today uh, relative to God's gospel rather than harsh judgment. Let's give the gift of patience, the gift of compassion, the gift of mercy, the gift of kindness, the gift of our time. Um, those are those are things that we should be giving. And if we give those to others, God will give us overflowing generosity back, um, which will which will only help our our joy in our lives. So that's the goal of today. Give forgiveness and understanding to somebody today, um, whether you feel like you have the time or not, because every single encounter you have with somebody is a divine appointment that God set in front of you. So God bless. Have a great Monday. And let's keep it real. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.